Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Tilly, High Level Queen. And today is a very exciting day because SaaS Mode V2 was just released and I'm going to show you how to set up your own SaaS platform in five easy steps so that you can start generating income with your SaaS and sell your own white labeled SaaS to your clients. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first step that we're going to do is we're going to log in and go to our agency settings, which is on the top. You're gonna to see this little blue arrow up here, click it, and then click on SaaS configurator, and we are going to set up our products. So step one, set up your products. So you're gonna see this little button and go ahead and click set up now. And we're gonna go through this real quick. So you can customize your SaaS plans now. You can have up to three plans and you can either build your own or edit what they have here by default for you. You can have a trial period. So if you wanna do a two week free trial or a seven day free trial, you can do that. I'm gonna turn that back off. I don't like free trials. Then here in the standard, this is where you're gonna put your features. So you can make this whatever number you want here and here you're going to see your features okay and then you're going to be able to edit the names of these and you're going to be able to also give them up to um i don't actually know up to Let's see how far that goes 98 dollars in uh, complimentary credits for texting okay so then it actually even says here 892 texts or 781 minutes in calls. And then here you can actually select your snapshot to automatically load, which is really, really cool. Okay. And then here, go ahead and set these up according to whatever you want to set them up as, whatever's in your SAS. And here, you have the Twilio rebuild settings. You can actually mark up to 10 times the actual cost of Twilio. So it, it gives you this nice little graph down here on, you know, the actual charges versus 10 times the amount. And uh, if you're in another country, 10 times might not even be enough like if you're in Australia. So I think their team is working on a way to make it even more so that you don't lose money on the text messages. So go ahead and click on save changes. All right, step two, you wanna set up Stripe. So if you don't already have Stripe set up, you're gonna to go to settings, Stripe integration, and it should say that it's verified and that you have it set up here. If not, click connect Stripe and log into Stripe and go ahead and do that. We also need to set up Stripe in our account. So go into switch to your account here. I have it open in a new window and I'm going to insert my Stripe publishable and secret key. Now, so step two, we're gonna do the Stripe API keys. I am going to use the Stripe test keys because that's how I like to test. So if you want to find your Stripe test keys, log into Stripe and toggle on view test data. Okay, so that should be orange. Click on developers, API keys, and copy this here. Go back over into high level, paste it, and do the same for the secret key. Okay, then click on connect and it should say connected. Step three, we wanna create a funnel with a two-step order form. So go ahead and create your funnel. And for now, the funnel or the pricing plans do not automatically generate. That is coming in the future, but for now you'll have to do it yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and create a funnel with two steps. I am going to create a step two called pricing and then I'm going to edit the page and I'm just gonna set this up real quick. And then here, you're gonna have 
plan one, plan two, plan three. And then underneath, you'll have your features. And then you're also obviously going to have a button here. So you're going to want to modify this to fit your needs. And then here we are going to do a pop up with a two step order form. have to do the row first, then we're going to do the two step order form. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. And I'm going to hide shipping. Step two is just going to be step two, get rid of that. Okay, when we're not shipping anything, go ahead and save it. And then step four, we want to create our plans. So we're going to go back over into the settings. We're going to click on products and we're going to create all of our plans. So step four, we're going to create our plans and I'm just going to say plan one. And then you're going to want to make sure with your Stripe plan, to go back over into the SAS configurator and click on show straight details and then copy the one that you want to pull over. And here you can, you can paste it and it'll find it. And then you're just going to go ahead and click on it. Now mine uh, isn't working right because the beta server funnel builder is down right now. And I also connected it to my Stripe test account. So you're going to want to make sure that whichever one that you're doing, that the correct Stripe account is linked in your main agency settings and in your funnel settings. Okay. So paste your Stripe plan there and go ahead and choose a description. and make sure that you put that in here as well. Choose your Stripe plan and then click on save and then go ahead and do that three more times or six more times, depending on if you want a yearly plan or not. If you don't want the yearly plan, then only set up three plans. So I'm going to show you what to do if you're in my situation and you have a, a test API on one and a production connection on your main agency account. So what you want to do is go into Stripe and go to products, and then you're going to find a professional standard and premium. So these are actually in production. And what I'm going to do is set them up in test. That way I can test it before I go to production. But the caveat is, your IDs need to exactly match what is in production for it to work, okay? So you can see that I have this ID here and then I can copy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my standard price on my test server. So go into your test server by clicking on view test data and I have two different tabs open so I don't lose my place. Click on add product and then I'm gonna go standard. And then here it's going to be 197 per month. And then this right here is my ID. And again, it needs to match right there. Okay. And I'm not going to mess with the yearly price right now. I'm just going to do the standard. And then when I go over back into my funnel and click on products, I should, should, see it here and you can see that it's back. So that's because I just made it over in Stripe. Okay. But the IDs match. So I'm going to go ahead and say 197 per month. 
it's a subscription and then I'm going to save my product and that's my plan one. Okay. So what you want to do, if you have three different SAS plans, go ahead and pause it and create those. And if not, then we're just going to go with it. Okay. And then step five is you want to test. So go ahead and open your funnel and click here to sign up. Okay, and then go to step two and you should see your plan here. So to do the test card, you just do four, one, 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 one. And then any date in the future like that, and then click on complete order. And then once you put in your order, you're going to get an email with the login information, username and password from high level. And again, when I made this video, the test server was down, so I can't show you live, but that is what happens when your order goes through and that's how you do a successful test. So I hope that this helps you guys know and learn how to set up your SAS mode V2 automatically onboard your clients on autopilot with their brand new SAS account. They can click this, they can log in, put in their username and password, and it's set up with their snapshot, the snapshot that you wanted to use for their account. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You can get a free 14 day trial using the link below. Make sure to get the agency pro plan to get all these features. It's $4.97 a month and well worth it if you can just get one or two clients. And I'll see you guys next time.